get you bust up there and, and slow us down. He went right on past. Well, I'll be. This first time you've been out for a while? Well, I did a six mile ride for uh, lunch a couple of days ago. Uh huh. This is the first ride of the season, other than that. Bill's kind of turning it up, isn't he? How'd I turn it up? How I mean, fast like, were you going? Speed limit, nothing more. Liar, liar, pants <laughs> on fire. <laughs> we're riding out today. George is riding his T120. I'm riding my Kasaki over here. And uh, look, the Exxon Valdez is coming out again. <laughs> He's got the duct tape off of it and uh, bungees and all other stuff he had off, off of it. And look, folks, it's not leaking no oil. This is a flat cap cafe racer out today with Mr. Bill. Say hello, Mr. Bill. Hey, everybody. It's a beautiful last day of winter in Idaho and uh, we're just got through eating lunch at uh, Dan's Ferry and Mr. Bill's riding his uh, 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 Rocket 3 I <laughs> start to say Exxon Valdez <laughs> <laughs> and I got George behind me he's riding his uh, T120 and uh, we're, we're we're heading uh, we're heading east aren't we Mr. Bill uh, yeah I guess you could call this road east yeah yeah and we're going towards Grandview have a little stop there but the weather's pretty nice today I think we got some inclement weather coming up yeah tomorrow supposed to, uh, tomorrow and Wednesday are supposed to be in the uh, low 70s upper 60s today and then we have a storm coming in from the Pacific and we're only probably going to have 40s and 50s in rain the other half of the week. George 82 and this was his first ride out for a little bit hasn't it Mr. Bill? That's what he said he, he took a little test a little short test ride on Friday just to make sure he was up to it. So a six mile test ride then a 120 mile ride is that right? <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll have an easy 120 today. I'll be showing you some things we've done on the Rocket 3. We're taking out to uh, Bonneville this year. I'll discuss that in the next video. I think are, that's are, pretty interesting. Are you going to take that out for a ride on, on sat next Saturday? Well, I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. I'd like for you to be here when we do that, so. But you're not going to be, so we may wait till you get back to take it out. Okay. All right. I mean, just a normal ride, yes, but to check out whether whether it's capable of speeds we're, we're wanting, I don't know. Then I had uh, doing a video on uh, some bikes that I went over to uh, one of the dealerships to look at. It has some uh, new, some of the new and uh, 24 uh, BMWs and some 2023. And um, we actually, I was over there when uh, the first 1300 GS was sold in uh, Boise. What did that go for? Did they tell you? Uh, I didn't ask if I lied. Pretty soon, pretty sure that it went pretty close to uh, retail. <laughs> All right, this truck wants us to pass him. I'll be 
basically tell you some of the problems why they haven't sold the, 13, uh, the 1300 GS. Uh, they're not hitting the dealers like they should because they've had some supply chain problems and quality problems. Oh, are they shipping them out to the dealers uh, incomplete? Well, they were doing that before, but no, that's not the problem. I'm going to discuss that in one of my other videos. Be coming up. I just got back from Missouri, and uh, you've seen that video probably. Then I delivered the uh, Moto Goosey 1200 Sport to one of my nephew's house out in St. Louis. The nephew that bought it actually lives in Vermont. So, but it's 1,800 miles closer than it was before. We will be taking that for a ride sometime in, in down in the Ozarks, Mr. Bill. Uh, sometime, I don't know, they haven't given me a date yet of when they, they're both free to do that. Okay. I may have... Uh, I got, I think I got one of the screws in my uh, elbow that's either protruding farther in than it should or has loosened up a little bit. Uh, they did not tell me on the x-ray, so I'll be discussing that with the uh, doctor here in several weeks. I was wondering if you had a screw loose. <laughs> I don't know if it's loose or it's, I don't know if it's a pointing in coming through or it's the uh, backing out a little bit. I suspect it'd be a backing out if it's anything. Yeah, that's, that's what I would go. Those screws are really long. I was actually, yeah. look, I was actually looking at the picture the other day. Yeah. And I, I was like, I was thinking that they were, it was a, like a channel that they had put on there. And then I realized that, no, that's the screws I'm looking at. It's just a straight, two pieces of straight with screws. And those screws are really long. I mean, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. So, we'll, it's like, yeah. we'll see. Uh, they read the x-rays down in the uh, mountain home. And they, they called and told me, uh, they had me call back. And they said, yeah, you need to probably see your orthopedic surgeon about that. Oh, boy. Um, I'm hoping that... Uh, I can put it off to uh, this fall sometime uh, after all the rides are done. Are you uh, in discomfort from it? I can't hear you. You're going to slow down. Are you in pain from it? Am I in pain from it? Yes. No, you caused me most of my pain. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in pain. But, it, and you know, it depends on how if there's any more of them come loose or if it's uh you know how far it comes loose that would make a difference join me and my friends at flat cap cafe racer for riding and racing please subscribe